In this video, we'll derive the logistic equation for population growth. Let's get started. In the Malthusian population growth model, populations grow exponentially if the birth rate is larger than the death rate. In reality, one would expect some sort of environmental constraint on the population growth. The logistic equation uh, caps the population uh, growth up to a carrying capacity, which we'll call K. So how do we derive heuristically uh, the logistic equation? Well, we can start with the Malthusian growth model. So dn dt equals r times n. And then add an extra function to that, which I'll call capital F of n, that has the following behavior. So if the population is small, so say F, the population size is zero, then we would expect exponential growth in the population. But if the population size hits a carrying capacity, which we'll call K, then we expect that growth will stop, okay? So with this uh, requirement on this function f, that we know its value at two points, the simplest form for f then will be a linear function. And the correct linear function then, that is uh, 1 at 0 and 0 at k, is the function 1 minus n over k, okay, linear in n. And that's the logistic equation. To the uh, logistic equation, we need an initial condition. So as before, we can set the initial value of the population size to be n naught. Okay, uh, this is a nonlinear equation but um, it's separable, so we can solve this equation. We can write it in the form dn um, over n times 1 minus n over k equals r dt. And then we can integrate, so we'll integrate here from a time 0 to t, and then the population size then will go from the initial population size n0 up to the population n at time t. Um, the right-hand side is easy to integrate, that will just be r times t. The left-hand side uh, requires a partial fraction, so I can uh, show you how that works very easily. So we write 1 over n, 1 minus n over k, equal to some a over n plus b over 1 minus n over k. Um, we can use, say, the cover-up method to determine a and b. So we can multiply both sides by n and send n equal to 0. Uh, if we multiply both sides by n and set n equal to 0, the right-hand side becomes a, and the left-hand side becomes 1. So we have a equals 1. And then we can multiply both sides by 1 minus n over k and set n equal to k. Then the left-hand side becomes 1 over k and the right-hand side becomes b. So b equals 1 over k. Okay? So then this uh, partial fraction here... will become equal to 1 over n. Uh, b is 1 over k. 
So that becomes plus 1 over k minus n. OK, so now we can integrate. So we get rt on the left, and then the right-hand side will be this integral. So the integral from n naught to n of uh, 1 over n plus 1 over k minus n dn, which becomes, these are both logs. So 1 over n is log n, and the upper limit minus the lower limit. So it becomes log n over n naught. The 1 over k minus n, um, uh, here we're going to assume that n is less than k, though it will work in either, either way. But here, let's just assume n is less than k, uh, which will happen if n naught is less than k. Then that becomes minus log k minus n. So we get a minus log k minus n over k minus n naught. And these can be combined to a log of n times k minus n naught over uh, n naught times k minus n. Okay? So we have rt equals log n k minus n naught over n naught k minus n. Uh, we can exponentiate both sides. So we end up with um, n times k minus n naught over n naught times k minus n equals e to the r t. And uh, our goal then is to solve this for n. So we solve for n. Um, how do you do that? You cross multiply by n naught times k minus n. And then, uh, then all the terms are linear in n or constants. And you can uh, factor out the n and then solve for n. So um, the final result that we get, um, I can write that in red, is that n of t then, you can decide how to write it. But I would prefer to write it like this, n naught divided by um, n naught over k plus 1 minus n naught over k times e to the minus r t. The reason why I like to write it like this is because you can see immediately when t equals 0, then we get n naught over n naught over k plus 1 minus n naught over k. The exponential is 1, so that just becomes n naught. And then when t goes to infinity, the exponential term decays to 0, and you get n naught over n naught divided by k, which goes to k. So you get these two uh, limits here. You get n of 0 equal to um, n naught, and you get the limit as t goes to infinity of n of t equal to the carrying capacity k. So k then is setting an upper bound to the size of the population. I'm Jeff Chasnoff. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.